Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with another cruise news update. Let's talk mixed vaccines. A lot of folks out there have been waiting for it, and now it is coming true. Cruise lines are starting to adopt a mixed vaccine model on the heels of the CDC changing their guidance last week. The first one out of the gate, Celebrity Cruise Line updating their frequently asked question uh, in their health protocols on their website to include the acceptance of mixed vaccines. Uh, let's look at the page real quick. Will I be considered fully vaccinated if my first dose of COVID-19 vaccine is from one manufacturer and my second dose is from another? Well, yes. Uh, here's the list of accepted vaccines. Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca, Sinovac, and Sinopharm. Uh, if you have those in any combination, as long as there's 28 days between them, you are considered fully vaccinated. Uh, they also include the section on booster shots. As more and more people are starting to get the booster shot, the question becomes, what does it take for someone with a booster to be considered fully vaccinated? The thing is, if you're considered fully vaccinated before the booster, you are definitely considered fully vaccinated uh, after the booster. There is no requirement from the cruise lines right now for booster shots. Uh, the only thing is you want to make sure there's 28 days between your shots uh, to be considered fully vaccinated. And so the booster shot language is starting to work its way in uh, to uh, I went to Carnival's website I went to Royal's website uh, of course I'm here on Celebrity's website Carnival and Royal have yet to update their policies for mixed vaccine uh, but uh, Royal also has this language about booster shots I think you're going to see more and more language about booster shots but the main thing is uh, if you're fully vaccinated once you get a booster shot you're still fully vaccinated and other cruise lines are saying uh, your vaccines have to be within the last eight months or anything like that yet uh, again, we got to keep watching to see if there's any new guidance around that. Uh, here's a couple other interesting frequently asked questions on the website here of Celebrity. If I lost my original vaccination card, but I'm able to show electronic proof of vaccination on a government-sponsored site app, will that be accepted as proof of vaccination? Yes, uh, Celebrity will accept a digital version of your proof of vaccination. Here, here's what I said. I got to ask this on our live show last night. Uh, you know, should I do this? Should I do... You're going to have the easiest time if you show up to the cruise port with a paper copy of your COVID test results and your original vaccine card and your passport. Uh, this, I've done this on several cruises so far this year. I've uh, whipped right through the lines. I, I don't want to risk uh, something abnormal. It does say that here that if you do show up with a digital uh, record on your vaccines, you're going to be okay. But me, I'm all about the path of least resistance. So I'm showing up with the paper vaccine card. I'm showing up with the paper negative test result and my passport. Uh, look, do what you want. But uh, again, the, the easiest path is going to be the easiest way to get on the cruise ship. Uh, the question is asked here, I've had COVID-19. I'm recovered. I have a certificate of recovery. Will you take that? No, they will not at this time. From what I can tell, and this is my speculation, that the cruise line's approach to people that have already had COVID is tied to guidance from the CDC. The CDC still recommends that if you are recovered from COVID, you should still get a vaccine shot. Uh, the main reason is COVID hits everybody differently. And so depending on the severity of the COVID, you might have one level of antibody uh, compared to somebody else. And uh, comparing that to people that have taken the vaccine, uh, the vaccine kind of levels out that antibody level. That's Again, that's me in my layman terms speculating, but again, the cruise lines are leveraging heavy the CDC guidance, and the CDC believes that if you've recovered from COVID, you should still get a vaccine shot. So until that guidance changes, I don't imagine the cruise lines are going to change their approach to people that have recovered from COVID. Stay up to date with all the latest cruise news by hitting the subscribe button. Show your support by hitting the like button, and check out this video I did yesterday about the secret the secret to picking out the perfect cruise.